Lightroom, the first thing that you're going to do is log on to the server. So to log on to the server, you're going to activate the Finder and make sure that it says Finder at the top left-hand side. Then we're going to choose Go, connect to the server, and the address that we typed in last week should still be here. It should still be saved as a favorite. Make sure you find it afp colon slash slash photo.ccsf.edu. Type that address in. If it's not there, hit the plus sign to save it as a favorite. Then we're going to say connect. Once we are connected to the server, we're going to scroll down here and choose photography and say OK. The dialog box should automatically open. You should see photography mounted on your desktop. If you don't see it mounted on your desktop, you can go to Finder, Preferences, and make sure to turn on all of the icons. Here we have the server. You can find your instructor's name. I'm Instructor Gentry, so we're going to click on the orange folder click on My Photo 51, click on Read Only, and find the current lab that we're working on. The current lab that we're working on is File Structure. You're going to take that lab and put it on your desktop. You need to do that first because anything that you try to change or uh, if you try to change the name, for example, of a file on the server, it won't because it's locked. If you open a file directly off of the server, none of your peers will be able to view it. So it's important to take this file and drag it to the desktop first. Then I'm going to go ahead and close this window. So let's open this up. Inside of here, we have a handout called, uh, which is the lab that we're going to be doing today, downloading from the server, building a file structure, and using a card reader. These are the step-by-step -step instructions that I'm going to go over today. If you would like to print these out, you may. The end result is going to be a file structure with your name on it, with images, with folders in it, and images in each file by the end of the semester. You're going to set up this file structure today, then you're going to take a screenshot of it and turn this into the Dropbox. And I'm going to show you how to do that. There's a movie that I'm making now and talking about here, talking about the step-by-step -step instructions. There should be a movie that accompanies all of your labs in case you need to review or you're absent for a day. Then you would come into the lab when it's open and download the um, lab assignment and watch the movie and make up the work. The one that we're concerned about today is this one. We're going to click once on the text, your name, and we're going to call it, give it our name. I'm using all lowercase letters and I'm not leaving any spaces. This is a web compatible file naming convention. If your name is too long, you might choose to u just use your first initial and last name for this folder. This folder is our root folder for our file structure. A file structure is an assembly of different files within each other. This file structure is important to set up now and keep on your hard drive because we're going to be using it the entire semester. Right now you see that some of these things are empty, but throughout the semester we're going to be adding to them. The only folder that's not empty is the sa sample images folder. And inside the sample images folder are a bunch of my pictures. And I don't you want you to delete these because we're going to be, um, these are problem child pictures, I like to call them, images with issues that we're going to be working on um, inside of Lightroom. So um, you're going to set up your file structure. You're going to rename your folder. And then you're going to plug in either your um, CF card using a card reader or, or your CD-ROM. The CD-ROM inserts into the iMac on the upper right-hand side. The label should be facing you. The shiny side should be away from you. You can insert it and wait for the CD-ROM to pop up. So to add folders to, um, to, a, to an existing folder, for example, my gray card images that are on my external disk. I'm going to click on them. I can hold down the command key to just 
uh, click on a few at a time, or I can click on the first one and then shift click on the last one. And then I can click and drag these into the correct folder. This is for the gray card assignment. So I want you to find your scavenger hunt pictures and drag them into this folder. Find your gray card pictures and drag them into this folder. If you have any other images that are family images or don't fit into assignment, you could make a miscellaneous folder for those. Once you're done putting your files into their proper places, take the disk that you took the files from, whether it's a card reader, a server, or a CD-ROM, and click and drag it and eject it into the trash. Now that we're done with the assignment, I'm going to take a screen grab. To take a screen grab, it's Command, Shift, and the number four that gives you these crosshairs, and you can click and drag across and take a picture of what's inside the grayed out window. And that snapshot shows up on my desktop here. If I open it up, yep, that's it. And I'm gonna go ahead and name it Lab Zero and my name. Okay, and I'm going to um, turn it into the Dropbox. So I'm gonna connect back to the server here. See if you already have the photography server mounted, you won't need to reconnect. Uh, and I'm going to find my folder. You're go you guys are gonna find my folder, Photo 51, and here's the Dropbox for Photo 51. So I'm gonna take this screen grab and just put it into the Dropbox. Okay, and you're gonna get a, a, a sign that says, um, you do not have permission to view this. That's okay, that's correct. Okay, it looks like um, a couple of you have already turned in this assignment, which is good. Roseanne Bath is done. Somebody turned in one without a name, uh, without naming the file. That would be Chad. So Chad, you just need to name your screenshot and put it back in the Dropbox. Okay. If you have any questions, please let me know. I also recommend backing up your homework. So you might want to take this whole lab home with you. You can put your assignment in here. Okay. I would definitely take, take this folder at the very least, drag it onto your drive to back it up because this is your root folder. We're going to be working with this every week and then properly eject your drive before you go. If you have any questions, please let me know.